Easy 24-7 Video Tutorial Series, Video 2, Servicing a List. Service tab, File Definition and Instant Service. Hello, my name is Emily. I will be showing you how to use Easy 24-7 to USPS, CAS Validate, and NCOA Move Update and Address List. Start Easy 24-7 by double-clicking the icon on the desktop. Alternately, you can run Easy 24-7 from the Start button. All programs, AES, and click Easy 24-7. There are two help buttons for context-sensitive tutorial help and hint messages. The Windows standard F1 will open a context-sensitive help file telling you what you can do from the current tab. F2, or the question mark icon, provides a short hint message if you are unsure what to do next. General help topics are always available from the menu help list. Login will be automatic unless you have changed the state of the checkbox above and to the right of the easy ID field. After logging in, you will see your company and if you use pre-paid credits, how many address credits you have. We are servicing an address list, so click the Service tab to begin. The first block labeled USPS Required is for mandatory USPS statistics about what mailing class the list is planned for and its source. Default values are fine, so we will skip over these going directly to the Address List Service block. The block has a title indicating which of four steps you are currently on and how many credits you have. Clicking on F2 or the question mark icon will provide a clear hint message explaining the current step. Step 1 is checking the options you need. Finish by clicking Confirm. The block's title now shows we are on Step 2. Click the number 2 checkbox to select your list. An explorer will open allowing you to find your raw address list. The list must be either a fixed field or CSV format. CSV means a file with fields delimited by commas. Since the tab character is so common for delimited files, Easy 24-7 supports both tab and comma delimiters detecting which one is used automatically. F1 opens tutorial help for this screen. Looking down to step two, we'll find a link for a formal explanation of CSV. Since familiarity with CSV format is not required, we'll leave it there for the curious. Excel and Access can easily create CSV files for you with either File, Save As, or File Export after a query. The block's title now shows we're on step three, where we need to either select an existing file description or create a new one. A file description specifies how this address list is to be interpreted. When creating a file description, consider using a meaningful name so that you can reuse it. If you do not expect to get more address lists with this very same layout, name it temp to avoid accumulating file descriptions you do not expect to need again. We have taken the time to make file descriptions easy. Since this is our first serviced address list, there won't be any saved file descriptions, so we will pick new file description from the drop-down list box to the left of three. A screen titled Create Delimited Field File Description opens showing address list columns on the left and usage or how columns were assigned on the right. Assigned address list columns display the red check icon. Unassigned columns will show one of the icons seen in the legend in the lower left. These icons let you know what heuristically Easy 24-7 considers the column to be, address, name, key, or no idea. All of the columns have been assigned except the one marked Always Empty, which tells us the column is blank in every instance. It is the icon telling us no idea because there is nothing to base a usage assignment on, because it is always empty. We encourage everyone to have a document explaining the address file layout. Our address list layout says that column 3 is for Puerto Rico urbanization. We know there are no Puerto Rican addresses in this particular list. That explains why column 3 is always empty. If I expect to have lists of this file format with Puerto Rican addresses, it will be important to assign column 3 now based on what I know from the document, and not from the empty data field. A click on column 3 opens a child window titled, How is this column used? This window will usually have the address type radio button selected for you based on typing fields while analyzing the entire file. Since there was no data, the radio button none of the above is on. Note the large white rectangle. If there were data values, you would see the field's contents. Below that rectangle, you see statistics including type, question mark, density zero, and data characteristics like alpha, numeric, alpha, numeric, and numbers of tokens or words per field. Again, it is all blank since there is no data. Let's assign this as a delivery line, which is what Puerto Rican urbanization data is. To do that, we click the radio button, delivery line, and hit accept. Say yes to the warning saying it does not look like delivery data. Names are important non-address data because names are necessary for national change of address move update lookups. Names come in two forms, either full name meaning the entire name is in the field, or name element meaning only part of the name is in the field, elements being prefix, first, middle, last, and suffix. To see how this works, right-click the name field to unassign the address list column. Notice the icon for the field becomes the face icon representing names. Now click the unassigned name field and notice the window titled, How is this column used? with the full name radio button turned on automatically. 
Even though that is correct, let's click Name Element, causing a drop-down list box to appear with five possible name elements mentioned, prefix, first, middle, last, and suffix. This allows you to work with address lists with up to five name elements. Two important things before we continue. Personal names must be listed before business names. That is the standard for addressing, but it is also the standard for NCOA Move Update. If there are two names, the second name is checked for a firm move. The first name is checked for a personal move. Having these out of order would reduce the number of NCO matches. Just remember that the definition assumes the standard. Personal name first, business name second. That leads us to the last item to discuss, how to switch the assigned column order of names, delivery lines, or last line elements. Since it works the same for all of them, let's use delivery lines for the demonstration. Shift to double click on the assigned element makes it change position. Let's try it now. Once satisfied with the column usage, review how addresses will be interpreted by using the sidebar in the lower right block labeled List Review. Drag the bar to the right and then left to see your addresses displayed as they will appear on the envelope or label. Before you can save this definition, you are required to test it by clicking the second command button at the top of the window. This USPS CAS test verifies 100 random addresses. If test results are less than 85%, Easy 24-7 requires your approval. Once the test is complete, click Save and Exit and give a meaningful name to the list if you expect to need it again or attempt to avoid accumulating one-time use file descriptions. We are naming this description DF underscore promo for delimited field promo address definition. Do not attempt to change the location. File descriptions and other site configurations are saved in the C colon backslash AES backslash CFG folder. To begin service, check box 4, Service Started, and Easy 24-7 will service the address list. Service begins with a projection testing 256 addresses at random before actually starting. If there are less than 100 unique names, service is denied enforcing the USPS rule requiring a 100 address minimum. If the address match level is low, you are warned and given the choice to continue or cancel. If the address list is the very same as one certified recently, you are told when and what service options were used and allowed an opportunity to cancel. That concludes the Service Tab video of the Easy 24-7 tutorial series. The next video in the series is Mail Presort, Preparation Tab, Presort, and USPS Forms, where we presort the service list preparing it for mailing. Video 4 covers producing mail pieces, and Video 5 demonstrates our powerful, interactive address lookup. Your Easy 24-7 support team is looking forward to continuing the series and providing ongoing support.